Welcome to this video where we will be discussing about AI security threats and how they can be analyzed using a structured framework from MITRE called ATLAS. Now, if you have been following my channel, you might have seen my previous videos where we used the MITRE ATT and CK framework to map real world vulnerabilities and security incidents in enterprise and traditional IT environments. And uh, in this video, then we will use the MITRE ATLAS framework, which is specifically for AI security and uh, map a AI related security incident and do a threat modeling of an AI security related incident in this video. Now, people who are new to this channel who haven't checked out this video, a few words about MITRE. MITRE is a nonprofit company that helps organizations understand and defend against cyber threats. One of their most well-known contributions is MITRE ATT and CK Enterprise Framework, which provides a structured approach to analyzing attack tactics and techniques that the adversaries used out there. Now, just like this framework is used to analyze cybersecurity threats in traditional IT environments, MITRE has introduced another framework specifically for AI security called ATLAS. And uh, these both these frameworks are available completely free to use in a web-based tool format on MITRE's Attack Navigator website. And uh, you can simply Google MITRE Attack Navigator and get the link for this web-based tool. Or you can simply visit these links and uh, get them from the MITRE's official website. So in this video, we will discuss uh, MITRE Atlas, which is specifically for AI security. We will go over its structure and we can see how we can use it to map AI related security threats with a real world example of deep seek incident where, you know, in in the past month, OpenAI, they accused DeepSeek of stealing their technology by using a technique called as distillation. And if this is true, then, uh, you know, we will see how this incident might have occurred. We will see what tactics and techniques might have been used by DeepSeek guys to copy the OpenAI chat GPT technology. Now, ATLAS, it stands for Adversarial Threat Landscape for Artificial Intelligence Systems. It is a cybersecurity framework consisting of tactics and techniques that the adversaries will use to target the AI systems and machine learning systems. Now, why a separate framework was created, why the earlier ATT and CK framework was not enough? As artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies became widely adopted, new attack vectors emerged that were not covered by ATT and CK framework. AI systems today, they face unique threats such as model distillation, data poisoning, model evasion, which require a specialized approach. To address this gap, MITRE developed ATLAS. So ATLAS stands for Adversarial Threat Landscape for Intelligent Systems. ATLAS is specifically designed to categorize and analyze security threats targeting AI and ML models. So just like ATT and CK helps with traditional cybersecurity, Atlas helps the organization to understand and mitigate AI specific risks. And very similar to ATT and CK framework, the Atlas framework also consists of tactics and techniques. And each tactic represents a high level objective an attacker is trying to achieve, while techniques describe the specific methods that an attacker will use to accomplish that goal. For example, Machine learning model access. If an attacker is trying to access an AI model and machine learning model access is the objective here, then the technique would be AI model interference via API access. So at one of the technique under this tactic would be AI model interference via API access. So this objective, the attacker will achieve by using a technique similar to AI model interference via API access. Now, each tactic can have multiple techniques under it depending on the environment the attacker will choose to use those techniques now that we understand how mitre atlas structures ai related threats using tactics and techniques let's apply this framework to a real world case study the open ai versus deep seek incident so in the early 2025 open ai accused deep seek of using its api to extract large volumes of responses from its ai models this technique is known as model distillation or shadow training that allowed DeepSeek to use OpenAI's model outputs to train their own competing AI model. Essentially, this was a case of API abuse to exfiltrate AI generated data. Now, unlike traditional cybersecurity attacks where an attacker exploits some kind of vulnerability in a software, 
this was a case of legitimate access being misused. DeepSeek obtained valid open API keys, you know, developer API keys, systematically queried the API and collected responses at scale. They likely used automation scripts, multiple accounts and evasion techniques to avoid detection. Now let's see how we can map this attack using Atlas Navigator tool. To access the tool, I have navigated to the official Mitre Atlas website. From here, I have clicked on Atlas Navigator. And when you open Atlas Navigator, you will see several options here. The important ones are the create new layer or open existing layer. Create new layer will allow you to start from scratch and manually select tactics and techniques relevant to an incident. And open existing layer will allow you to load a previously created layer to continue working on it or maybe to review an already mapped threat scenario. Now to save time, since I had already created a mapping for this video, I will choose the second option that is open existing layer. Here now I have the option to upload from local. So I'm selecting the layer file that I had prepared earlier. And uh, now my layer is loaded. Now that we have our attack scenario mapped in Mitre Atlas Navigator, let's go through each of these tactics and techniques to understand how DeepSeek might have executed this attack against OpenAI's ChatGPT model. Reconnaissance, gathering information about OpenAI's API and model. The first stage in any attack is reconnaissance, where the adversary gathers intelligence about the target. In this case, DeepSeek needed to understand how OpenAI's APIs worked, what its limitations were, and how they could extract the most useful data. That is the reason under reconnaissance, we have the following techniques highlighted. Search for victims' publicly available research materials, meaning DeepSeek likely reviewed OpenAI's published research papers, API documentation, and technical blogs to learn about the model's capabilities, limitations, and output structure. Uh, search victim-owned websites. They may have explored OpenAI's official website, their support forums, user guides to analyze rate limits, developer API pricing models, and authentication mechanisms. Resource development. Once the initial recon is done, DeepSeek has to build the necessary infrastructure to carry out large-scale API abuse, right? So this might have included setting up automation scripts, creating multiple accounts, using proxies to avoid detection. So under this tactic, I have highlighted these techniques and that is acquire infrastructure, develop capabilities and establish accounts. Uh, you know, so under acquire infrastructure, we can assume that DeepSeek likely used cloud servers, VPNs. They set up their proxy networks to distribute their API queries. They prevent that prevented the open API uh, you know, from identifying a single source for suspicious activity. Develop capabilities, they might have developed custom tools, scripts to systematically send queries to OpenAI's API and extract responses efficiently. Under established accounts, since OpenAI's API requires authentication, DeepSeek needed multiple API accounts. They likely registered multiple accounts under different identities to bypass request rate limits and to successfully get authenticated and use genuine accounts and avoid detection. Initial access. So unlike traditional cyber attacks where attackers exploit vulnerabilities to gain initial access, here DeepSeek used legitimate access but misused it for unauthorized purpose. And I have highlighted these two techniques to say how uh, you know they might have achieved this objective of initial access so valid accounts instead of hacking into open ai they lawfully purchased api access but misused it for large scale data extraction evade machine learning model so they likely found ways to bypass open ai's built in security measures such as rate limits api usage tracking and uh, that is how they might have continued to extract responses without being blocked on open ai servers then machine learning model access, interacting with OpenAI's model to extract data. Once access was established, then DeepSeek's goal, this objective was to extract as many high quality model responses as possible. And I have highlighted this technique to suggest that this is how they achieved it. Um, API, AI model interference, API access. This might have been the core technique that DeepSeek repeatedly used to query OpenAI's 
uh, API to collect large data sets of its model generated text, which they can then use to train their own AI model. Now you might have noticed that some tactics like execution, persistence, privilege escalation, I have not highlighted these tactics. Let's, uh, let me explain why. Execution, now this is a tactic uh, in Mitre Atlas that refers to attackers running malicious code, executing scripts or compromising large language model plugins to manipulate the AI behavior. However, in this case, DeepSeek did not execute any malicious code on OpenAI's infrastructure. They simply accessed OpenAI's API in a legitimate but unethical way. So no unauthorized execution of scripts or commands occurred inside OpenAI's environment. That is the reason I have not highlighted any technique under this tactic. And I'm saying that this tactic does not apply here. Same is with persistence. Persistent, uh, persistence is the tactic that is used uh, by an attacker to maintain access inside a system. Attacker will do this by installing backdoors, injecting malicious prompts, poisoning training data. But in this attack, DeepSeek did not need persistent, persistent access in the traditional cybersecurity sense. They could simply create new API accounts whenever needed since they weren't breaching OpenAI's internal systems but instead misusing valid API access, there was no need for persistence mechanisms like backdoor or data poisoning. Then about privilege escalation, why it was not used, privilege escalation refers to attackers gaining higher levels of access such as bypassing security controls to elevate their permissions. Um, in this attack, DeepSeek did not escalate privileges. They were operating within the uh, access provided by OpenAI's API. Instead of exploring vulnerabilities to gain admin level control, they misused their standard API keys to extract data at scale. Therefore, I have not highlighted any technique and I'm saying that privilege escalation tactic does not apply here and was not used. Then credential access. Credential access involves stealing username, passwords or API keys through, um, you know, phishing, brute force or other credential theft techniques. But here DeepSeek did not steal credentials. Instead, they legally obtained API keys by purchasing them lawfully by registering their accounts with OpenAI. They were not hacking into OpenAI users' accounts, but rather misusing their own valid credentials for unauthorized data extraction. So I have not highlighted uh, this credential access tactic here. Same is with collection. Why it was not used? The collection tactic involves gathering internal data, logs or files from a compromised system. While DeepSeek was collecting AI generated responses, this does not fall under MITRE ATLAS collection category because this category typically refers to extracting private data sets or internal files from systems. So here the data being collected was open AI's publicly accessible API responses. Even though it was done in an unethical, abusive way, there, were, there was no internal files or system logs or private data sets that were collected. And that is the reason I am saying here that this, this tactic does not apply here. Now back to the tactics that we had highlighted, uh, starting with defense evasion. We have highlighted evade machine learning model technique under this defense evasion. So the objective was to evade defenses, to avoid getting detected and, um, you know, to avoid uh, open AI security mechanisms to trigger any kind of alerts for unusual patterns of large data extraction. So under this, they likely used this kind of technique where they rotated API keys using multiple accounts. They might have used VPNs, proxies, and uh, so by employing such a technique, they made it difficult for OpenAI to identify and block them in real time. Then discovery, understanding OpenAI's capabilities and responses. At this stage, DeepSeek needed to analyze and understand the data they were extracting to ensure it was valuable for their own DeepSeek model development. And one key technique here might have been uh, that DeepSeek systematically extracted OpenAI's responses, analyzed them for patterns and refined their queries to maximize useful output collection. And all this happens under this technique, discover AI model outputs. Now ML staging attack, under this objective, under this tactic, I have highlighted these two techniques uh, because once a large data set of OpenAI's responses was collected, DeepSeek could begin training their own competing AI model, right? 
and uh, so they have they might have employed these two technique techniques now uh, one is that uh, create proxy ml model so we all know that deepseek was created you know a chat gpt like model it got created so deepseek used open as extracted responses to fine tune or train their own model and essentially it was replicating gpt like behavior then verify attack they likely tested their tested their own deep seek model against open ai's chat gpt model to measure similarity and ensure that their training was successful then exfiltration here uh, now for this entire operation to be successful deep seek needed to store and use the extracted data for their own model right so this falls under the exfiltration tactic with the following techniques that i have highlighted um, the exfiltration via cyber means um, i'm assuming that deep seek stored open ai's responses in their external databases they created their own training data sets out of that res- out of those responses and uh, then exfiltration via model interference api they might have used open ai's own api as the primary data source for exfiltration systematically extracting responses to replicate its own knowledge then impact final stage you know once the attacker has crossed all these stages then under the impact tactic i have highlighted the cost harvesting technique this technique applies when an attacker offloads the financial burden of ai development onto another entity in this case deep seek allegedly developed its own ai model while spending only a fraction of what open ai invested in training their original model so instead of using their own computational resources and vast amounts of training data deep seek systematically extracted responses from open ai's api essentially using open ai's infrastructure and research investments to fuel their own model now this showcases a major risk for ai companies because adversaries can leverage public api access to replicate powerful ai models without bearing the full cost of training them so by mapping this incident to micro atlas i hope i have given you a clarity of how deep seek might have systematically carried out api abuse to extract ai generated responses and train their own competing model known as deep seek search so unlike traditional cyber threats that involve hacking or malware this was an example of misusing legitimate access to extract valuable ai ai model outputs and uh, so this is how we can say that mitre atlas it helps security professionals to understand and categorize ai spe- uh, ai specific threats making it then easier to identify analyze and prevent such incidents in the future and uh, before i end this video i want to clarify one small thing that this entire mapping uh, you know of this this attack scenario is based on my assumption that the acquisitions made by open ai are true i do not have any direct evidence to confirm that deep seek did steal um, you know did steal open ai's uh, intelligence however uh, i have read the research and reports from microsoft uh, open ai team and their cybersecurity team claiming that they have substantial proof which i believe they will release in coming months once they have studied the entire um, you know patterns of the api usage that were done by uh, some users based out in china So hopefully you have liked this video and learned from this so thank you i will see you in the next one then